Yeah, good day. Well, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to make your own cupels for uh, cupelling out precious metals. Okay, so let's get into it. So what I have here are all my moulds. They're just 50, 50 uh, millimetre PVC and 40 millimetre PVC pipe, plastic pipe. All just cut off to much the same sort of length. Okay, we'll keep going. Now here I have a 500 gram, a half kilo bag of bone ash. You need bone ash. There is other materials they can, they can be made out of as well, but uh, this is a good one, bone ash. Now I just put a little bit of water in a bucket and then add the powder to the water and the consistency is very important too much water it's just sloppy pulp no good a mush too little water and it'll sort of break up and fall apart so it's yeah, it's tricky and I sometimes have a problem with it you got to add more powder or or maybe a little bit more water but you want it to a consistency that even though it's crumbly, when you squeeze it in your hand, it'll hold together. Okay? Now, I hope you can see this. It's still very crumbly. Is that crumbly in the bucket? But when you grab it and go like that, it makes a hard piece. So you can still break it up again. But that is so important because if it's too wet, they just crack up in the mould. So that's about it. So it's all about the consistency. That's the important thing. It's a little bit tricky, but work at it, you'll get it right. Right now, I'll just put it in the moulds. It's a bit messy. A bit messy, putting it in the moulds. Just put it in the moulds like that. Push it down, push it down really hard. Push it into the moulds and get your hands dirty. Okay. Okay, I've got a couple of implements which I use to do the indent in the top. Here's one. This thing here, I have no idea what it is. My wife found it at an op shop, but it's a beauty. It's metal, and it's got just the perfect shape there for making the indents. And in the smaller ones, the 40 mil ones, I've got this end. But before I had that, I just bought one of these wooden, and it works fine, wooden. Um, a ball that you can buy from the hardware store, Bunnings hardware store, and it's got pretty much the perfect size on the top. So what I do with that, I just use it for making the indent. It makes the indent perfectly in the 50 mil pipe. That's what you should end up with. Something like that. Then you just smooth it up a little bit with your fingers around the edges there. And that one's ready to go. And just put them aside on the flat plate like I do there and just put them out in the sun. They'll crack out of these things and uh, you should be able to slip them off later on. Okay?
bullseye one cupel Bullseye. Another one. That's my 40 mil ones. And they'll come out of that when they're dry. Now remember, you don't want that edge there to be too thin, otherwise it's going to break off when it comes out. So something smaller than the 40 mil pipe, and that gives you a thick, thickened edge around there with a bit of strength in it. And Again, I can't stress enough, getting the consistency of the water into the bone ash is everything. They'll either fall to bits or they'll crack up if they're too wet. So, um, yeah, it takes a little bit of getting used to it, but uh, trial and error. And the point is, if they do crumble, just smash it all up and start again. You don't throw it away. Okay. And there we have the bone ash cupels, all in their moulds, waiting to dry.